What is up, everybody? Well, I've been putting all these uh, upgrades on the Can-Am. I figured I might as well uh, do a video on it. On our Maverick DS that we're about to uh, head to Tennessee with, uh, we went went there last year and we were totally kind of green to the uh, side by side uh, off roading sport, if you want to call it that. Um, we were pretty much not prepared, but we didn't have any problems. But I uh, was pretty nervous when we were out in the middle of nowhere in the mountains, uh, thinking about all the things that could go wrong that I didn't have with. Um, so here's what what I'm changing. Uh, we just got this Garmin tread, and uh, if you're riding with like uh, other people that have this, it's got a mic, you can talk to them or track them on the map, but the biggest thing we wanted it for is I mean, there's 20,000 acres of trails where we're going, and we got backwards a couple times uh, last year. So just to be able to map where we've gone, and uh, it's supposed to have topography, and it's supposed to have maps for a lot of the uh, ATV parks, trail maps already loaded into it. Uh, Mrs. G has the screen hooked to the computer right now. Uh, putting all the uploads into it, but just snaps on right here. Comes with a nice uh, uniball mount and a mount that'll go around your roll bar. Then the antenna, I just ran it up through the roll bar and it comes with a roll bar mount too, so I mounted it right there. All I have left to do as far as hooking it up is it needs uh, this module needs to go to a 12 volt. So I've got the uh, the council all popped loose here to uh, I'm gonna tie it in up, up in there where the fuses and stuff are. So I'm buttoning that up. We did not have anywhere near enough storage space in here last year. All we had was these uh, these two zip open uh, can amp door pockets. But uh, I got this from Kemi Moto. That that's a nice big storage compartment right there. And from the same company, if you can see it good, this one mounts in between the two roll bar pipes it's it's a nice size it's got several uh, compartments in it and we didn't have a first aid kit this first aid kit is awesome it came with uh, straps that just hooked right up around this this roll bar if you're wondering where that what that's from uh, it's in a Essential survival kit, Everlit survival. Uh, it's made by, or it's founded by a group of Army veterans. So it's got a lot of stuff in there, like way better than a normal. first aid kit and I like how it's got the American flag embroidered on it but it's got a lot of uh, stuff really well uh, I mean it's even got a, a pocket knife in there it's got a flashlight uh, uh, one of those space blankets a rain poncho but Pretty cool, and they packaged it really well into a, a small, small container. We also did not have a spare tire, 
So I got a spare tire and rim on eBay. And then this nice mount I got from a Kemimoto also that, that just bolts in across the two roll bar pipes and holds it up here. And I can still get into this compartment. So we had this compartment last year. It's a cooler, but you can use it as a toolbox too. There's a tray, tray that goes in there. We normally keep, oh yeah, that tray's right there. We normally keep like ice packs and stuff we want to get keep cool in that tray, and then you can put whatever else in here. Uh, I just got this jack also. Um, this is from uh, Hornet Outdoors. It came with nice mounts for the roll bar. And I found this spot that it fit fine. It's, it's got, it'll telescope, There's this will telescope way to whatever height you want. And then the, there's a crank that you put on here and crank it up, but you can just stick this, you know, right under, underneath wherever and jack it up. Uh, I'm gonna have ratchet straps in here because if I have to jack it up, I need to, you know, ratchet strap the suspension to lock it so otherwise you'll jack forever with as much suspension groove as these have. So I put the jack on, I just changed the oil and the filter, engine oil, what a pain in the ass. Can-Am could have done way better than that. What a mess, goes everywhere. So when I just ordered my next oil change kit, I found this thing that's supposed to help that problem, but I don't know. I'm a little skeptical about that. I changed the engine air filter. Um, I feel like there's other stuff I got for it, but I've got a 30 foot toe strap that sits in right there just perfectly. got a spare belt that I use these uh, velcro things and one zip tie just in case these come undone but spare belt mounted there oh yeah I put a rear window in it from uh, Kemi Moto 2 uh, I just put that in yesterday to try to keep the dust from boiling so bad in here um, that should help and I got a full windshield too from that company that'll flip, little like pop on cylinders, it'll come up, but it's supposed to be really hot while we're there. So me and Mrs. G decided uh, to leave the, the Can-Am windshield on it for this trip. Greased it, checked all the tires. I'll uh, finish up this GPS and uh, show you what all I uh, pack in here for tools and stuff. Bring it back. All right, everybody. Due to the magic of the interweb, we just transported you guys all to Huntsville, Tennessee. Brimstone Resort, Mrs. G. What's up? Uh, the cabin that we rent same cabin we stayed in last year this our second year coming here and uh this is the fifth the morning of the fifth day that we've been here riding and we have uh had quite the adventure have gotten uh it's been raining around here and this this red clay just turns into complete muck like all the trails going up and down the the mountains with all the slippery rocks on top of uh 
all this slop clay makes makes things interesting for sure but we have not had to use the spare tire yet or the jack I haven't had to use any of the tools in the bag that I got there but uh, we have come very close to uh, wondering if we were going to get out of certain spots we got lost uh, for a good couple hours the other day even with the GPS we we could plot our path but we were so far into it trying to find a, a way out of the area we were in that that wasn't Brimstone. That, yeah it ended up being Tennessee National Tennessee trails but uh and it wasn't none of it was mapped on our Brimstone map and that's when we realized that we were uh, kind of kind of in the middle of nowhere <clears throat> and we're we ride we're riding by ourselves we're not here with anybody else and there's people riding this year but i mean we we can ride for hours and hours and, and not run into anybody else so that's a little sketchy that's why i tried tried to be prepared this year um yesterday morning we went down a trail that uh that should have been closed but they didn't have it closed off and uh, we ended up way down in the in a creek bed on the bottom of a you know way down in a valley in the middle of nowhere and it was super sketchy getting down there and then we realized the trail didn't go anywhere because there was trees that had fallen and then we realized we had to get turned around and on go a one -lane trail. on a one lane trail and uh and then go back through everything we just did that was freaking scary i was shaking and it normally takes quite a, quite a bit anymore to to get me uh upset but uh we uh we made it we ended up on a one lane you know trail coming down a, a mountainside and then it, where it hooked to come back up the other day that it, there was no way around this water hole and it looked just like a you know it didn't look like it'd be deep well when i went around the curve into it the the water came over the top of the doors and i just floored it and spun our way out of it but Mrs. G said she's never seen that look on my face. Like, he literally <laughs> looks over at me because the water is pouring over and his eyes are huge and he just goes, fuck it, and hits it. And I don't know how we got it. <laughs> it was, uh, uh yeah, I mean, we got drenched. I mean, picture the water all the way. <laughs> it was just pouring over and it was just muddy ruts, but it just buried yeah so we told uh uh one of the brimstone people that rides around and checks trail passes i showed them on the map where it was he said they'd send their dozer to fill it in but the people around here that work here are the nicest people very helpful very friendly we helped out uh some locals husband and wife the other day too they were picking up aluminum cans on one of the trails on a four-wheeler pulling a cart and we pulled up to him in the uh, southern southern accent i couldn't understand him good but he he asked if i would help a man in need and i said sure but that that day was the day we got lost for hours and uh we just wanted to be we, home. we just wanted to be home we'd been lost for two hours finally found where we were and it was probably about an hour ride from there to get back to our cabin and we were just mentally exhausted and <laughs> he's he asked me to give him a ride home because the axle broke on his four-wheeler like the whole the whole hub tire <laughs> everything attached to the axle shaft was laying on the side of the trail so and they only lived eight minutes away <laughs> yeah so i left mrs g with his wife probably not the best idea but i try he was an older guy and i you can they feel, weren't knowing yeah anything. you 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 can tell if a person's shady or not and 
yeah, the eight minutes away turned into a about twenty-five minute trip. Twenty-five minute one way that I took him in the middle of nowhere to his house, and then had to <laughs> come back and get Mrs. G. But it was it was good. I felt good for helping them. Um, I wouldn't want somebody to tell me to get screwed that found me like that on the trail. So uh, today it's raining again. Um, oh yeah, we just came out for the morning. I was doing a walk around on the Can-Am and I see that I I bent two suspension arms on the back suspension. <coughs> That's awesome. We have run into all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's usually bottoming out. Bottoming out hitting rocks coming down or up a hill because it's so rutted out and there's nowhere to turn around no. anywhere it's so narrow yeah you just got to rip through it and uh i was backing up yesterday i'm pretty sure this is when this happened but i was trying to back up to get out of somewhere and i either smoked a rock or a tree or something i'm pretty sure i know when this happened but uh it's when I told you the wrong path. You <laughs> she told me the wrong path, <laughs> and I was trying to back up, and bam. But uh, all in all, this machine is unbelievable. It's oh capable. We made it up like a creek bed at one point just to get out of being lost so we didn't have to go around yeah. and just nailed it right up that. I thing. went straight up a creek bank <laughs> and it look at each other and just go, whoa. <laughs> yeah, with when you have the front end locked and uh you uh you uh give this thing the beans with the throttle, it's it's gonna either go somewhere or it's gonna get buried really deep. But yeah, that and when I gave that guy a ride home, he's <laughs> telling me a shortcut to get to his house. And I come to this, what he called a creek, and it looked like a damn river to me. And he goes, how deep of water will this go through? And I'm like, come it's on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, well, it's deep. He, he goes, let's just follow the, he goes, follow the rocks around. And I was, uh, um, it so made it. it made it. I'm thinking about hooking my truck. I just think a hammer. Um, that I'd have to take them off to hammer um, them. Just lay under it. And... Yeah. <laughs> thinking about hooking uh, the old Batmobile here to the miniature Batmobile and trying to just jerk those back, but we'll see. Probably bring you back. Well. I pulled the bottom one, you know, it used to be up there. I pulled it a little too far, but it's way better. <laughs> At least now I can I can smack it with a hammer, but I hook on to this one now. Bush fix. Well we got the top one. Pretty darn good. Uh this one here has got a kink in it and it I need a way of like pulling straight down on it but the indexable pry bar and the hammer and I don't really have anything in the bag for uh that I could use to pull it down but we drove for a while last night with it screwed so yeah it's it's all good it didn't break any of the, the joints on the end, so let her rip, Tater Chip. Definitely some pretty cool views that uh, we don't get to see in Illinois around here. <laughs> We're on Trail 12 right now.
Uh, we're gonna spin you around. We've met some pretty cool new friends and we're trying to make the most out of our last full day here. So we're gonna flip you around. Trail 10. Just got done seeing a waterfall. That was pretty cool and a really nice little pond. It is a gorgeous day here in Tennessee. Went from mud, mud to dust now. Yeah, we're pretty gritty right now, but oh well. Our new friends have been amazing. We ran into them yesterday and I just asked them if I could follow them. And we ended up having dinner with them last night, breakfast this morning, and just the nicest, nicest people in the world. And it's a lot, a lot better to have uh, people that, that uh, are with us that know what they're doing and have been doing this a long time. Like the first thing they told me to do was unhook my front sway bar links. So right on the side of the trail, we took my front sway bar links out and it, it made this thing into a different machine. So I, I know the upgrades that are coming to it next also. The suspension, but it's been an amazing trip. I wish we could do this every day of the week. Don't Amazing you? trip with awesome new friends. I absolutely love this. Weather has been fantastic. All right. See you later, guys. <laughs>